Hey everyone, welcome back to Hero Tech. Today marks the launch of our newest product, Magnus, the world's first functional thread shooter watch. With our patent pending reload electronics, the Magnus gives you the power to shoot out and retract spider wire thread from the palm of your hand. Swapping in the watch cartridge lets you tell the time in a unique pattern of LEDs. The Magnus is compatible with any 18mm NATO style watch strap. For those who have been asking, the link to order these is in the description. Thank you for waiting. Let's get to the demos and see how the Magnus works. Welcome to the instructions on how to use the Magnus. So here you can see the main body, the thread cartridge, and the projectile, and we'll just show how to load it. So the projectile, as you can see here, has a hook section for the thread from the thread cartridge to lock onto. What we're going to do first is we're going to get the hook from the thread cartridge, or the loop, out. And then we're going to put it through the inside of the main body. We'll show you how to do that. So here you can see the threading. Just pull it so it's as much as a straight line as possible. And then you can see the main body, there's the hole there, the barrel. So you're just going to slot it all the way through the barrel. Make sure it's as straight as possible so that it's as easy as possible to go through. And just slot it through like that. Once it's through, pull it to the other side. And then you can open up the loop. You then put through the hook and the projectile. Pull it through. Make sure it locks all the way in like so. Now that that's loaded up, we'll teach you how to load and reload the thread shooter. So what you're going to do is first you're going to fully spool out all of the thread. And this is to ensure that the twist in the line is equal throughout the whole line. If it is not equal, it can cause jams and tangles. Make sure wherever it is spooled out, whether that's on the floor, on the ground, in the air, where you shot it, make sure that the threading does not loop upon itself. So make sure it's in a straight line as much as possible. Because if it loops upon itself, it will cause issues when it's reloading back in. You can change the direction with the bottom switch. The reason we have to do this is because with each shot, twist is introduced into the line. If there is too much twist, then the line will tangle and jam upon itself. So the next step is to always make sure you reload your thread at a 90 degree angle. So you turn the cartridge 90 degrees, 90 degrees to the body. Why is this important? If it's not 90 degrees, then the thread can spool off the reel and cause jams and tangles. So always make sure it's straight on 90 degrees and actually spooling on to the reel here. So once you're ready, use the top switch and turn it on, and you can see the thread start to reel back in. Another thing to note, see what I'm doing with my other hand, always apply tension to the line when it's threading back in. If there is no tension, then the line will not reel back in correctly, and it may cause jams as it's exiting the barrel. So, so far we have three rules for reloading. The first one is to spool out all of the thread, the second one is to make sure you get a 90 degree angle when you're reloading, and the third is to make sure you always have tension on the line when it's coming back in. The fourth rule, as you can see here, is to make sure that the thread spools evenly so that there's not too much thread in one part or the other. 
Preventing it from being clumped up means that it shoots out very smoothly and you have no issues. The fifth rule is to always make sure that the motor is off when it's not spooling, meaning if the motor is not rotating, turn it off. This makes sure that the motor doesn't get burnt out and has a long lifespan. You're now ready to shoot the threading back out. First thing you do, you load the cartridge back in. Important to note when you're loading the projectile back in, make sure it's facing the correct way. So the magnet side should be facing directly down because this lets it catch properly onto the lock block. So when loading it, it should look exactly like this. Magnet directly down, press it in, and then you can hear a click to know that it's locked in. You point where you want the threading to go, and you pull the nylon line to fire it out. Once you fire it out, you can follow the same reload sequence over and over again to shoot the thread out. If you forget one of the reloading rules and the thread gets tangled, we supply an extra roll of thread for this purpose. We'll show you now how to change the thread in case of a jam, tangle, or a knot. First, you must disengage the threading from the projectile and then open up the reload cartridge. What you're gonna have to do is spool out all of the thread and then using scissors, cut off the remaining thread from the spool. Once that's done, you can see a completely blank spool reel now. Throughout this whole process, you have to make sure to be careful of the thin wires as they're quite fragile. Once you take off the old tangled thread, you can install the new thread. So the new thread already has the hook or loop at the end of it, so you just need to spool it out and tie off the other end into the spool. So you grab the end and you slot it through the hole in the middle of the spool, like so. Once that's through, you'll see something like this. And what you're going to do is tie a triple knot onto the spool, making sure that the knot is as tight to the reel as possible. If the knot is too big and too loose, it will interfere with the thread spooling out. Tying the first knot, there's our first knot, there's our second knot, and there's our third knot. Making sure I'm pulling it as tight as possible so it sits on the reel very, very nicely. Give it a couple test tugs to make sure it's snug. And if it is, you can go ahead and cut off the excess thread, and then you're good to go. To note, when you're cutting off this thread, this is very strong spider wire thread. So you have to put tension on the thread first before you can cut it. Once that's done, you can reinstall the electronic components inside the cartridge and then close it up. And just like that, you've replaced the thread. When the thread is fully spooled out, do not pull very hard on the thread. This might cause the reel inside to break and then you will need a replacement. To replace the battery in the cartridge, first you have to unscrew the cartridge, remove the battery very carefully as these wires are fragile, and then charge this back up. Charging the battery for the Magnus is quite easy. All you have to do is take the battery, uh, line it up black on black for the slot here, and then plug it into any USB input. There will be a red light that turns on to show that it's charging, and when that red light turns off, then that means the battery is done charging. Once it's done charging, you can reinstall it. You can see black on black. The orientation is marked quite easily. Reposition the battery inside the cartridge. Once that's done, you can close the cartridge back up and you're ready to go. Finally, let's explain the watch cartridge and how it works. It should already be adjusted to your specific time zone. To turn it on, you simply press this button and it will give you the time in hours, minutes and tens, and minutes and ones. Once again, the rightmost is hours, the middle section is minutes and tens, and the left section is minutes and ones. So it is read right to left. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.